right now on Fox 35 News at 5. I don't remember being shot. I, I didn't feel not one shot. I got shot 14 times, and I didn't feel one. Wow, a killer on the run of Brevard County. Hear from a grandmother who survived shot at a birthday party. Right now on Fox 35 News at 5. A mother and a grandmother gunned down during a birthday party. Tonight, police need your help. They're trying to get a break in this case. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bob Fryer. I'm Sunny Abada. That mother died. The grandmother was shot 14 times and spent months in the hospital but lived to tell the tale. Daryl Nail has this story from Brevard County, new at 530. It was January 21st of 2013 when Quilla Bradford, her daughter, and three grandchildren were all inside that Cocoa apartment getting ready to have a birthday party. But a masked gunman stormed inside that day, fired off a hail of bullets, killing the daughter and leaving the grandmother severely injured. Today, she told us that harrowing story and about how the power of faith, she says, helped her survive. He had on masks, gloves, and he had a gun. The masked gunman shot 58 year old Quilla Bradford 14 times. I don't remember being shot. I, I didn't feel not one shot. I got shot 14 times, and I didn't feel one. They nearly killed her, though. Bullets tore through parts of her organs and bowels, lodged in her breast and pelvis, and cost her her right eye. But none were fatal. God was there, and he was just like blocking, saying, no, 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 no. See, my faith in God is so strong. I knew it was nobody but him. And when it comes to God, I don't play. Her faith was tested six months later. While lying in the hospital, still unable to speak, she wrote a note asking what happened to her daughter Lydia. Her sister finally told her. Lydia had passed. And that um, they had already had her funeral. You know, and I'm like, I couldn't talk. I couldn't talk. She's talking now to the killer that's still out there and police can't find, and to her three grandchildren that she now has custody of. My granddaughter, the baby, she's three years old now, was crying last night. I want my mama. What am I to say? She said, that bad man killed my mama. I said, yes, he did. But you know what, Mommy? I said, he's not getting away. That bad man not going to get away, Grandma? I said, no. Nope. Not long as God is in it. Attorney Christopher Marlowe is also in it. He negotiated a $2.85 million settlement with Longwood Apartment Complex after filing a civil lawsuit against them. It alleges security cameras on the property at the time of the shooting were just dummy cameras. There is no video of the shooter. I don't want this to happen to nobody. It's horrible. My grandbabies don't have their mom. And I don't have my door. And it was a senseless crime. Quiller and her grandchildren no longer live at this apartment. They found a new place to live here in Brevard County, but they asked us not to tell about where it is over concerns about their safety and the fact the gunman is still on the loose. In Coco, Daryl Nail, Fox 35 News.